Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know I haven't done a video in a while. Um, I'm just not making as many videos. <laughs> um, but my Teddy Bees order, pre-order, did come in. I'm sorry, you guys know I have like a house full of cats. So if they interrupt, I have like no power over it. Gingerbread, my calico, is right here trying to figure out how she's going to interrupt. <laughs> um, so I think, did we place our orders in January for this last Teddy Bees order? Is that right? I cannot exactly remember, but it is now April, uh, mid-April, and I just received my pre-order. Um, if you guys are newer to the wax world, Teddy Bees is an amazing vendor. Tiffany owns it. Um, vendor Wax Company, Home Wax Fragrance Melt, <laughs> however you want to say it. Um, she has an amazing company. She has some really, really unique blends um, that a lot of other vendors do not have. She has oils that other vendors do not have. Her quality of packaging, presentation, wax formula is really high end in my opinion. Um, her labels are super nice. She, when she puts out pre-order lists, they're really long, um, have a little bit of something for everybody. Um, and Tiffany's just all around a great person in my opinion. Um, her wax is a little harder to get a hold of because she does, I can't remember if it's three or four pre-orders, usually three to four pre-orders a year. And then every time all the pre-orders are done shipping out, she'll usually put a list out pretty closely after that for an RTS um, where she sells all the scents that she um, had in the pre-order or most of them with more like additional scents to that list. So this last pre-order was my smallest pre-order that I ever put in for Teddy Bees, um, simply because I have so much wax. Obviously with Teddy Bees, every time I order, every time that I receive my orders, I always wish that I had gotten more. She's a vendor that I could just order endless scents from, endless wax from, and be pretty satisfied with everything I have. Um, sorry, I feel like I have a cat hair on my uh, lip gloss. Um, as you guys know, uh, one of the things I've done this year to help like reduce wax ordering for a financial savings purposes, but also B, um, wax storage room and C when you order too much wax, you, it ends up getting wasted because it gets old and you can't smell it as well. Um, you can't melt through it nearly as fast as you purchase it etc. And so one of the ways I'm doing that is every year I'm picking three vendors that I'm going to order from that year. Um, now that's like, those are like my main purchasing vendors. So this year that's, um, Kay's Wax Melt, um, Teddy Bees and the pharmacist's daughter. Now there are a co couple companies here and there that don't have very many releases like, um, Barrett's Wax Crafts that I'll purchase from intermittently high ginger. I'll, pur I'll purchase from intermittently um, because he has very irregular releases and not very many. Um, so even though he's not one of my three. <laughs> Hi, Mace Change. Okay. Okay. Um, you want to sit right there? You're a beautiful girl. Um, she's a big girl. Huh. So anyways, Teddy Bees is one of my big three for this year. So, um, as you guys know, if you've been ordering from Teddy B's, she does usually three different sizes in her pre-orders. She does the loaves. She does the tubs. Now the tubs are my favorite and she does her souffles, which are the smallest like wax weight that you can purchase in the pre-orders or in general, really with her. Um, so I ended up ordering six tubs and three souffles, and then she always sends a sample. Um, I think as we go through them, I'll let you know, but I think they're all new scents to me. I could be lying once you go through them and you see. Um, but the, the sample that I got is actually a scent that I ordered that you'll see. So I'm not going to go through the sample right now because it's one of the tubs that I got. So um, I'll do the souffles first. Like I said, I got three souffles. Here comes pumpkin. Come here, Punkita. Come here. Please don't jump on the camera. They're getting ideas. Sorry if it wobbles. Pumpkin is sniffing the base of the camera stand. Oh gosh, wish everybody luck. Um, so the very first souffle that I got here seemed really, really interesting to me. Um, she does such, like I said, high-end blends and unique blends that other vendors don't. 
This first one's called Midnight Rosewood, and the notes here are tonka bean, rosewood, black amber, tea petals, and cedar. And these are kind of what, every, actually every label is pretty different. So this one has kind of like a pinpoint cursive almost for the name. And she always has the notes, the date, um, her brand here, uh, the website, and then her, you know, title brand up here. Okay, this is, smells like what I assumed it would smell like. Um, and she does decor on her wax very like subtly though. Sorry, that noise is my dryer spinning or my washer. Sorry about that. It's downstairs, but it gets loud. Um, so this color is kind of what this scent smells like. It is a very woodsy, not deep woodsy, moderately deep woodsy, almost a masculine woods with like a perfume on, over the top. So I definitely, this is like a bedroom scent, I would say. I definitely get cedar, tonka bean, like a dark black amber. This is almost cologne -y, in my opinion. Like a very sexy cologne. I could see, this is beautiful. Um, I could see though that this is one of those cologne scents that would give me a headache, even though it's really pretty. It's really sexy. It smells like perfume and cologne combined almost. Really pretty, um, but I definitely can see depending on the throw on that one, that that would give me a headache, even though it's beautiful. So it's a really moderately deep, cologne woodsy cologne with like a rosewood overtone that almost smells like a perfume. So really pretty. It's actually exactly what I imagined it was gonna smell like um, when I ordered it. But that was kind of my wild card a little bit. So um, this next souffle is Late Night Bake. Um, and this is her Sweet Lavender Sugar Cookies pink sugar and a background of Palo Santo. Tiffany has one of my very favorite Palo Santos. It's that really dry, woodsy, like sun-baked, almost woodsy Palo Santo. Um, and as you can see on this label, she has that really cute, like chunkier lettering. I really like how she does these. Um, her lavender is also unique in a way that it's, um, it's definitely not like other lavenders. It's almost like a sweet marshmallowy lavender. Um, I do like it a lot. I like almost all lavenders. Um, but hers is just more like fun and girly, I would say. So I definitely get her sweet lavender with like some bakery vanilla sugar cookies. I get a touch of the Palo Santo. I can't say I smell pink sugar off the bat, but this as oh, an overall vibe is pink sugar-ish, if that makes sense. Um, so it could just be blended in there. Hi, pumpkin. Please don't. Her tin, there, she fills her tins really full, so it's hard to get out. I do smell more pink sugar and Palo Santo at the bottom. So do you see how it's so pretty? She just has like subtle kind of glimmer, shimmer on it. Yeah, so I definitely get, this is like a sweet lavender vanilla bakery with Palo Santo base. So really, really yummy. I would say that Tiffany is pretty famous for these types of blends. This is very like, I don't want to say standard Teddy B's because nothing about her stuff is standard. But this, if, I think if anyone that is familiar with Teddy B's in the vendor wax world smelled this, they would know it was Teddy B's. So really yummy um, pink sugar, lavender, Palo Santo, sweet vanilla blend. So really good. Um, the last souffle I have, I should have, this was also kind of a wild card for me. I put this in my cart as a tub so many times and then ended up putting it as a souffle. I, I'm sure that I'm gonna regret that, but we'll see. Um, this one is Evangeline, and this is the one that I got in the um, sample also. So the notes here are mossy oak trees, wild poppies, citrus, sandalwood, southern breezes, and warm amber. The reason I got this in the souffle is the first notes here are mossy oak trees. In vendor wax, moss, I like the scent of it, but it often is portrayed in like a really cologne way that can give me a headache. Even though I like the scent, it can give me a headache. So that's kind of why I only got the souffle. Oh, huh, that is not what I expected this to smell like at all. This smells very familiar. Look how, so see how she has bigger like sequins on here, but still subtle. It's so pretty. What does this smell like? I have smelled this before, not in vendor wax in like perfume or it's not really perfumey though. 
it's almost like a laundry-ish perfume green. Oh my gosh, where have I smelled this before? I wonder if any of you got this one and if I and and know what it smells like. Oh my goodness, this is definitely, I don't want to say nostalgic, but there's somewhere in my lifetime that I've smelled this before. So to me, it smells like very fresh and clean. Oh, I cannot put, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue, end of my brain that doesn't function. So I really like it. Um, but to me, it smells like a laundry powder, almost like laundry detergent that has, oh, it's almost there. It's almost there. What is it? Greenery in a springy way, not like a winter tree way. I am going to die. This is something, this is a scent of something. Like a recreate scent of something. This is re reminding me of something that I smelled in elementary school. Okay, it smells so good. Um, I do smell how it says citrus, uh, citrus and sandalwood. It, it's like almost if like a laundry detergent had citrus and sandalwood as a scent in it. Southern breezes. I get that vibe. Warm amber, maybe. Okay, if I remember you guys, I will try to put it in the description. It's almost there and it's driving me crazy. But to me, I could be very wrong, very, very wrong. But this is like a dupe or like a, a type of something that's like not known in the vendor box world that is from something else. Sorry, I'm sure that's so annoying, but I know that scent from somewhere, but it smells really good. I would say, it's hard to describe, but I would say if you are a fan of Teddy B's, um, oh gosh, what is wrong with me? The lemonade, laun laundry lemonade. What is her famous blend? You know, her like lemony floral laundry kind of blend that is super, super popular. Sundresses and lemonade, that blend. It's similar to that. It's not that, but it's in that same family, I would say. So more green, but similar. Anyways, that took forever, but it's that's really nice and very familiar. Okay, on to the six tubs. I'm just gonna grab for them. Um, so this first one that she has that I that she has put out here, it's called Oasis, and it's Beach Treats, which is her beach nights type. Brown sugar and fig, which is a Bath and Body Works type that I used to wear a long, long time ago, and Tahitian vanilla. So her tubs look like this. I can't remember. It doesn't have the weight on here. Are they like eight ounces, something like that? Eight point something, maybe eight to 10 ounces. Um, as you can see, like on the bottom, she puts decor on the bottom. So there's sequins there. And then on the top of these, um, she'll do like some, like sometimes design, sometimes they're playing with like a little bit of shimmers. And as you can see on this um, label, she has a different like font and design also. Um, this is a scent that she's put out before that I've been wanting to get, but I always kind of like put it on my list and then filtered it out when I was getting other stuff. So I'm really glad she put it out again. Um, oh, that smells so good. Her beach treats, her beach nights oil is very popular, very well known. Um, and I love it in it, like almost any type of blend. So I definitely 100% get beach treats, brown sugar, vanilla, which if you haven't had, like if you, cause brown sugar vanilla was a scent from um, Bath and Body Works when I, I was in middle school. So that was in the mid to late nineties. So some of you might not know <laughs> that scent. It is very sweet, but Oasis is a really good name for this. It smells like, like a sweetened high end, like experience at, in like a tropical, like, vacation almost I don't want to say spa day because and a lot of spa stuff isn't like this sweet but it's not gourmand either um it's more sweet body care in the best way mm, see and this one I wish I'd gotten more of almost every time I get one of her beach treats blends I wish I'd gotten more of but this is one that she has had before one that she's 
I'm sure we'll have again in the future. Um, but maybe some I might try to get a hold of in the RTS because that is definitely beautiful, relaxing, but sweet summery vibe. So really, really good. Um, this one, I don't know if this one was new. I think it was new. Um, and this is one that I almost got a loaf of. I had two of the tubs in my cart for forever. And I talked myself out of getting two of anything because just like of money, trying to save money, etc. Um, this one's called Beach Blanket and it's the scent of cotton sheets, ocean air, and fresh coconut. So obviously I wanted more, but love the color. I think it's white wax with blue sequins. Um, do these ones have shapes? Nope. They're kind of like shattered hexagonal, um, with some also, I think blue glitter. And then on the top we have, I think blue drizzle with some blue multicolor sequins. Oh my goodness, that is so good. Ooh, is that cotton sheets oil new? I wonder if Tiffany, oh my gosh. I don't know what laundry is in here, but that is bomb. See, I knew I should have gotten more of this. I cannot, this will not come out of the tub. Oh, maybe, there we go. I'm just gonna see if I can show you the bottom. So good. Ooh, okay, whatever laundry is in that, it smells familiar, but also not from vendor wax, from something else. It's super cottony, like very dry sun-baked laundry. And that ocean air is probably adding to that. I don't know if those are separate oils or if Tiffany blended like an ocean air oil with a cotton laundry kind of oil, but it's definitely ozonic, dry, cotton, fresh laundry. The coconut, I can barely smell, but there is like a slight tropical, like twisted vibe to it, which is good. That's the kind of coconut I like. I don't like the like sweaty kind of coconut. That's almost like sweet, but smells like you need to take a shower. It's not like that. This is really good. Oh, uh, see, I should have gotten more. I would say it's a laundry, but in the least laundry-ish way. It's like tropical laundry very sun-baked tropical laundry because of that twist of coconut. That's really, really good. There is a very like ozonic, not aquatic, but almost ozonic, fresh, moderately warm breeze kind of flowing through that. That's very good. That could be good for a freshie that doesn't want a super duper freshie scent. But also remember that my likes biasly lean into fresh likes. Things usually smell extra sweet to me because I like fresh stuff better. Sorry, the um, washer's doing its spin cycle, so it's loud downstairs. Okay, next one up. I think so many people were excited for this one. I know I was excited for this one. Um, I love tobacco incense, um, especially there is an oil in the vendor wax world called tobacco flower that is just, it's definitely tobacco-y, but it's like a prettier take on it that I like a lot. Um, this one, I'm probably going to say this wrong. Um, it, I think this is in like Norse, but it's, is it Friore Blum? I don't know. Uh, also known as beautiful flower. And this is cashmere cream, tobacco flower, and Palo Santo. And once again, I'm obsessed with her Palo Santo. So, um, this one, is it pink or purple or brown, um, with gold, I think, um, sequins. And ah, multi-color sequins on the top, so pretty. Um, hmm. I don't smell it super strong on the top, strongly on the top. This one was one of the most recently like poured ones too, per the date on the top of the tub. There we go. This one's kind of quiet. I wonder if it's gonna need more time um, I know that someone commented that they were melting it already on her page and that it was strong. So maybe I'm warm, it will be stronger. But from what I can smell here, I get her Palo Santo. I get that oil that I've smelled before from only one other vendor. That beautiful, like not perfumey, but feminine tobacco oil. And she puts cashmere cream in a lot of her blends. I don't think I've ever smelled it separately. I'm sure it just kind of adds, I'd imagine cashmere cream would add kind of a cozy, like Tonka-y kind of cashmere-y vibe, like a sweater, warm sweater. 
So this smells like Palo, like woodsy, little woodsy, like Palo Santo, that kind of floral, tobacco, feminine vibe. Oh, this is so pretty. It's very light though on cold, um, but it's really, really pretty. I, I think it's mostly because I love her Palo Santo and I love that oil and I'm mostly getting those two. Love that tobacco flower oil. Really pretty. Um, I know that a lot, this was, I'm pretty sure this was new for this pre-order and a lot of people got it already, their order in and really liked it. So I'm sure this will be a hot one for the RTS. So if you want to get more of this, I'm sure get it first. Really pretty. It's definitely feminine overall, but the woodsiness helps keep it kind of like not perfumey in my opinion. It's really like a, almost like a pretty but earthy, relaxing, uh, vibe like you could uh I know I've said this before but you could like meditate to this or it could help you relax or it's just kind of cozy cuddly but I really really like that okay three more tubs here uh this one I believe was new and I was really excited about this one because of the name um but also of the notes so this one is fairy tales and lemons and this says pomegranate nectar fresh orange blossom which I love orange blossom Vanilla, warm amber, sugared lemon zest, and a hint of Palo Santo. Did you see a theme here? Um, so this is like a really bright yellow, I think, right? And it's really cute because in the title is fairy tales. On the bottom, you can see the sequins are like fair, like it's there's stars and like large and small, like gold, very whimsical glitter on the bottom. And on the top, it's similar. It has hexagons. It's just so pretty. Let's see if I can get it them to shine there for you. So pretty. Ooh, this smells good. Holy moly. Very lemony. I get, it says sugared lemon zest. It, it definitely has a vibe of like, um, oh gosh, I literally just had it in my head and it came out. But the, like lemon perfume, um, Ugh, like a, a sugared lemon. It smells like a sugared lemon perfume. I'm not really smelling, at least on the top. Let me see if I can pop it out. I'm mostly smelling like a sugared lemon. It is very, sh like a lemon drop almost. <laughs> at least right here on cold to my nose. I'm not getting any orange blossom. If there's vanilla, it's very blended in. Pomegranate nectar, that might be adding because pomegranate to me, it's a little bit tart, but it's also dark. I'm not getting the darkness, but this is very tart. This is very lively. Mm, okay, so at least on cold, I very, very much get sugared lemon zest with maybe a touch of pomegranate nectar. Um, There might be, like I said, some amber and vanilla in there, but it might be one of those things where you don't, you can't really sense it unless they like took it out and you could smell the difference. This is a very happy, zesty, lively, fizzy, bubbly, but not like fizzy pop. It's not actually fizzy. Like sugar, lemon zest scent. And I really like that. <laughs> I might get more of that one if I can. That smells really, really good. Uh, I'm gonna do that one last because, um, okay. So actually, so I lied. I, I have had this scent before. I should have just gotten this in a low for multiple tubs because I have, I love this. I'm pretty sure, was this new last, not this pre-order, but maybe the last one, maybe the one before that. I went through a tub or two, maybe three of this, maybe a loaf. I should have probably just gotten more. This is amazing. And I think this is the same color it came in last time. Um, kind of this medium blue, cozy cookie cake. Um, this one I got not just by itself, but I'd also gotten the cozy cookie cake layered with like, um, uh, vanilla tree or, uh, I can't remember anything, vanilla balsam or something for the winter. And I just, the cozy cookie cake part of it is like so addictive to my nose. And this is warm iced white cake with her beach treats, uh, marshmallow fireside and her, uh, signature, signature sugar cookie. So there is a lot of vanilla in here. Um, and I just, the color of this, blue is my favorite color. And I just, the, I find the color of this just so beautiful to look at. Look at that. 
so, so pretty. And this is so strong um, on cold and on warm. It is like if you take beach nights, beach treats, and just super duper amp up bakery vanilla with it. Oh my goodness. It is like to die for. Uh, I know this is probably pretty sweet for some people. Um, as I told you guys, I lean towards not liking sweet scents as much. But this to my nose does not have like that caramelly, uh, ooey gooey kind of sweet that I can't tolerate. This has like the... Oh, the vanilla is almost like musky. You can almost smell like this sugar crystal texture in it. Oh man, I could eat this. It's so delicious. But then it has that almost touch of like aquaticness that it's in Beach Nights. Um, Beach, her Beach Nights oil, by the way, this version of it does have quite a bit of like sweet vanilla in it too. But there's just enough of a twist in that really strong Beach Nights oil where there's like this touch of like air, like aquatic air that makes it so special and addictive to my nose. So if you've never had her cozy cookie cake, I hope that she keeps this one as one of those just like solid house blends that she puts out every single time because it's that good. No one else has this blend. It's absolutely freaking delicious. Um, I can't say more about it. Last one, this was her number one seller for the pre-order. This was a huge seller in her last pre-order or RTS. I can't remember, but this is a newer one from Tiffany. I have never smelled it, but people have gone off about it. Um, and I'm afraid that I'm going to want more of it and I'm not going to be able to get a hold of it because everyone's so obsessed with this one. This is Cookies and Cashmere. I hope that everyone that wanted it got a lot during the pre-order because I'm sure I'm going to like this. I'm sure. I don't know. We'll see. The notes to cookies and cashmere are sugar cookies, sugar cookie dough, cashmere cream, and vanilla birch. Sometimes vanilla birch comes off as like a spray deodorant to me. It just depends. <laughs> I know that's weird, but it does. Um, cashmere cream, once again, sugar cookies and sugar cookie dough. This is, I think, a light blue or light green with gold uh, sequins. Mm, okay, so this smells like the vanilla base almost to the um, cozy cookie cake. I'm not getting the vanilla birch yet, but let me see if I can pop this out. I definitely get her sugar cookies in here first. Mm. She really like pours these so full. There we go, which is good. Okay, I do get the little touch of vanilla birch and it just, I'm glad it's definitely there. Vanilla birch is to me is a very strong oil. Um, it's just enough to make this like feminine, pretty sugar cookies instead of like, it's still gourmand. Don't get me wrong, but it makes it, it elevates it just a touch to make it like what I said, like a feminine, slight perfume, slight perfume twist to a sugar cookie. This is pretty, totally get why people like this. It's almost like you took cozy cookie cake. And you took out the marshmallow firesides. You get just a touch of like smokiness from that. And you added vanilla birch. To me, they're very similar. It's really good. It's, it is really good. But it's so similar to Cozy Cookie Cake to my nose. I like them both. But I like this just a touch better because of the beach nights. So if you like Cozy Cookie Cake, but you're tired of beach nights, get cookies and cashmere. Because they're very, very similar and this has that touch of vanilla birch in it. So I'm glad I have both because I love this one so much. So um, I see why everyone loves this because it has that delicious sugar cookie oil that she uses um, with her cashmere cream and a touch of vanilla birch. But I like Cozy Cookie Cake just a touch better. So anyways, I can't believe that that was my whole pre-order. I was being a very good girl during that order. And of course I want more. <laughs> um, I love everything that I got. That fairy tales and lemons kind of surprised me because of how bright and tart and like mouthwatering it smells. Very bright lemon. Um, not like cleaner lemon, definitely not laundry. It's almost like lemon drop kind of lemon. Um, but I think my favorite new one to me was probably beach blanket because of that like cotton sheets oil, whatever is in here. So good. Um, and if I can freaking remember what Evangeline is, I will let you know. Anyways, I'm excited to see all of your guys' hauls. Teddy Bees is one of, once again one of my very favorite vendors. 
I've said everything I can say about Tiffany and how amazing she is. Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.